Hi guys, Virtus Education here with episode 8 of the Unreal Engine 4 Begin tutorial series. And in today's episode, we're going to be going over an introduction to the content browser. So, what is the content browser? So, the content browser essentially allows us to browse through all of our content and then open up the different editors that we have for that content. For example, the material. Materials have the material editor, we can open that up. Uh, meshes, they have the static mesh editor, um, you know, particles, they have the cascade editor, and so on and so forth. But most importantly, it allows you to create new files, view all your files, and even import your files. So, let's quickly go ahead and show you the content browser. So, we haven't really touched up on it before, so I'm just going to show you where it is. By default, it's going to be in the bottom left-hand corner here. If you click it, you can actually drag it out into its own little pop-out window, just like this. So, let's just go over a few things in here. So, immediately on the left-hand side, you can see that we've got a list of all the folders inside of our project folder. And inside of this, I can continue to click on folders to expand them, and then I can view all the, fold all the files inside. So, for example, if I go to my materials folder, I can see all the materials which we've created here and have available to us. So that's pretty much how that works, and it's all set up in a hierarchy system. So, uh, the, you know, the base folder, sorry, the root folder is going to be game, or whatever you set it to. And then inside of that, you can have your subfolders, and then the subfolders inside of those. So, after that, we've got all the little things that we can see we've got here. So if I go ahead and go to the materials folder, on the right hand side, you can see we've got a list of all of these, and we've got little thumbnail previews of these. And if I go ahead and click on some of these materials or whatever, it's going to bring up the associated, uh, you know, editor cascade, the static mesh editor, the material editor, etc. So that's pretty simple. And if I wanted to, I could right click some of these and I could, you know, delete them, I can rename them, I can export them, save them, etc. I don't really need to explain all of these. We'll be touching up on these as we actually do use some of the content inside of the browser. So, let's just go ahead and show you uh, what we can do with some of these. So, for example, if I have a mesh inside of the content browser, I can click it, and if I wanted to, I could go ahead and copy a reference to it, or I could drag it into the scene. If it's a material, I could select it, and then drag it into the scene once again, and so on and so forth. So, that's pretty much the base of the content browser. In addition to that, we can also create new files, and we can also import files. Now these are probably the two most important things, especially if you want to make uh, custom content. So, if I go ahead and go over to the materials folder real quick, and if I go ahead and press new, I can go ahead and create a new folder, blueprints, materials, particle systems, or others, and we get all of these lists to choose from, and we can create all of the files for the game from here. And that's pretty much how you're going to be making most of your content, either creating it through here, or importing it. So, if I go to new, and then material, you can see I've, it's actually gone ahead and made a new material for me. And you can see it's all in white, so I can define a name. So I'm just going to call this test, and boom, we have a new material that we can play around with. But that's not really important to, uh, too much about what we can actually do with that material. But nonetheless, we've actually been, we can actually create some objects like that. And I can do the same for a blueprint if I wanted to. So let's go ahead and create a actor blueprint. And boom, we now have a blueprint. You know, it's as simple as that. Now we can also import files if we want to. This allows us to bring files from our computer into the engine. So for example, if I wanted to bring in uh, some of these snazzy wallpapers into the engine, I could. And I could put it onto into a material and I could place it into the scene. For example, I could go ahead and, you know, bring in this Unreal Engine 4 mater uh, texture that, I, that I've got here. I can go ahead and create a material out of that, and then from here, you know, I can do whatever I want to the material, you know, save it, and then just apply it to whatever we want, just dragging it into the scene, as simple as that. So let's just go ahead and do that, and you can see, boom, we now have that 
onto in our scene you know our own imported custom content so it's pretty much everything for the material uh, material browser really so having said that just play around with some of the different stuff that we have in here you know just go through the folders meshes materials particles props uh, blueprints etc open them up take a look at the different browsers maybe try bring some of these into the scene so that's pretty much everything for this thanks for watching comment like and subscribe and i will see you in the next episode Goodbye.